Hello and welcome to my channel. Andrina and Provence are both having a raid up in the Thorns banner currently and I'm sure many of you were able to obtain a copy of at least one or both if you went all in on the banner. So, who is the better sniper? First, let's look at their stats. Provence has an average HP, average attack, decent defense, an above average DP cost of 19 and an above average attack interval. Andrina has a higher HP and attack, but has lower defense, higher DP cost and a longer attack interval. This comparison is extremely unfair for both operators as their archetypes are totally different, but their stats are pretty balanced nonetheless, with Provence having lower HP and attack and Andrina having lower defense and a longer attack interval. This round ends with a draw. Next, let's look at their range. Andrina's range is pretty huge, this helps her reach enemies far away from her, making her a legitimate sniper. Provence on the other hand has a super short attack range, which means Provence won't be able to land as many hits as other snipers. Next, let's look at their signature skill. Both Andrina's and Provence's signature skills are their skill 2, which is pretty obvious. Andrina's skill 2 gives her a massive attack boost, which might be one of, if not the biggest attack buff in the game. Her attacks will slow the enemies for a decent duration, making them stay in her range for a longer period of time. However, as a trade-off, Andrina will no longer attack enemies with over 50% HP. pages this skill is great to use against boss enemies as Andrina will pretty much be able to lower the boss's HP to 50% most of the time thanks to her high base attack and attack buff which can overwhelm most bosses defense stat. That being said, this skill is more of a support skill where Andrina will lower the enemy's HP to 50%, lowering the pressure on the other damage dealers, the skill has a good SP cost and a great duration as well. Andrina is usually deployed in the front lines to soften up the enemies for the damage dealers at the back to take out the weakened enemies. Next is Provence's skill 2. Her skill 2 is, very niche to say the least. Provence gets a huge attack buff, but she will not target enemies with above 80% HP, making her useless if she is placed in the front lines, Therefore, the best place to deploy Provence is at the back of your damage dealers. Her SP cost is good and the duration is great as well, but thanks to the inability to attack enemies above 80% HP, Andrina wins this round by a landslide. Next, let's look at their talent. Andrina's talent gives all Abyssal Hunters more attack speed. The attack speed buff isn't game-changing but it's still a decent amount. However, those who aren't Abyssal Hunters will not get this buff. The Abyssal Hunters include Skadi, Skadi the Corrupting Heart, Gladia, Spectre, Deep Color and Andrina herself. The operators who benefit the most from this talent is probably Spectre and Andrina, a decent talent indeed. Next is Provence's talent. This is a RNG talent where she has a 20% chance to deal 80% more damage to enemies and will be increased to 50% chance when the enemies are in the front row of Provence's range. This talent pairs well with her second skill when her attack stat will be boosted to huge amounts, allowing Provence to deal huge damage with her talent and skill too. So, who is better? Andrina or Provence? To be perfectly honest, Andrina will perform much better than Provence in most scenarios, however, Provence is more of an operator to clear away enemies at the back and preventing leaks while Andrina is more of a damage dealer who will weaken enemies at the front and rely on the back to kill off the rest. Both of them can work extremely well with each other, but if you had to choose to build only one, I'd say Andrina has a higher priority to build than Provence. And that is all. Hope this video was helpful in introducing the operator's kits and making a fair evaluation based on their viability. I will be making similar videos in the future so do consider subscribing to stay tuned. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.